ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mita Chan, or you can call me Mei, and I'm from the Mi Dongwon group. Today, I'm going to talk about what we have learned for the last session and the topic of subjects. From the lecture, we have learned about a subject-based business. A subject-based business is a great way to start to go. If you have a subject-based business, you have to stop spending your money because you're trading your time for money. For entrepreneurs who start a subject-based business, there are two main things you should know. First, you have to figure out which kind of business you're going to be in and what's going to make you different. And you need to be remarkable for your customer. If you're remarkable for them, they will tell their friends about you and your company. And it will help your company to grow bigger. And second is that you have to find, find out why you started this business. This business is a good way to start because there's limited cash flow going out and there's lots of cash flow going in and the most important thing for this business is that you have to find ways to service your customer. From the reading, we have learned about customer service. Clientele is the one that most supports all several components to be successful in business. A starting strategy is to find customer to keep increasing their numbers and to do market research to learn more about them. Finding customer take time. Customer service is also including in the key element of business. It is essential to focus on how to serve your customer, how to satisfy their needs and make them yours forever. The hardware is the product or service and its utility to the customer. The software is the genius behind the product. Um, there are two skills in customer service. The first one is professional skills and the second one is people skill. Professional skills is important to consider processes for information gathering and for uh, for information gathering and and analysis of public opinion. In people skills, there are three ways communicate meet their clients face to face by phone and online and each need in a particular interaction skills. Tools to help support the customer service staff include a well-designed website that is informative and web pages. In conclusion, the goal of customer service is to retain customer. Um, there are specific ways to ensure good customer service. Um, and most of these ways have to uh, do with good communication skill. People will more refer to the company with better communication. And that's all for what we have learned from the last session about service. And if you have any question, please ask. Thank you for paying your attention and have a nice day. Bye.